How to use email autoresponders get response tutorial. Hi guys, for today's tutorial, I will show you how you can easily create your email autoresponders and also how you can use email autoresponders. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first, you need to log into your account. I already logged in here. And if you don't have an account, then you can sign up for free and also try all the features for 30 days for free as well. No credit card needed, so just click the link in the description below to sign up for free. So once you log into your account, you just need to go up here on your left corner. You have your tools and then look for autoresponders over here. Just click on it. And here you will see your autoresponder dashboard. And for now, we don't have any email autoresponders here. To create one, we just need to click here, create autoresponder. And then the first thing that we need to do is title our autoresponder. So let me just go ahead and title this one. Welcome email. So the second thing that you need to do is select a list that you want to link this email that you created today. So you just need to select the list here. And after that, you need to set up your autoresponder settings. So first is when do you want this message to go out? So we have here on day zero, it means that you will be sending this email that we will be creating today automatically once they sign up in your newsletter. And then the second one is here, you can choose if you want to send the email same time as they sign up or you can also send this one with a delay and you can choose a time of the delay like 12 hours after they sign up or you can choose 10 hours after they sign up it depends on you or you can also choose an exact time that you want them to receive the email or to send this email so let me just go ahead and select this here same time and then for the day we'll choose the day one so it means that we will be sending this email the day after they sign up so here you also have the option allow the message to be sent on monday tuesday or every day or just weekdays so let me just go ahead and make this one weekday so i will just uncheck saturday and sunday and then here this next one is to set up the email address so first is the from email address you can make use of your address here or your business address that is the good thing so from here from email address it's better that you will be using your business address because that will be the email that the receiver of the email will see when they receive the email and also you can change the email here to be used when you receive a response from your customers that sign up from your newsletter here you can also add your subject line so it's better that you will also add their name first like for example uh, simon something like that because putting their name first it also increase the number of customers that will open your email Next thing that we will be doing is designing our content here or our email. So you just click here, design message. And here you can see that we have a pre-designed templates. All right, so here's our pre-designed template. So you can choose a template here, or you can also create your own templates here. Choose the blank templates. But for today's tutorial, I will go ahead and use the pre-designed template. So I will just go ahead and choose a template here. So for example, this one here, you can also preview. And then let me just click use template. And click next. The next thing that we can do is you can also send a test message to your own email to see what the email looks like. And also since we don't have any link added there, so we don't have option here to enable the click tracking because we did not add any URL. So the next thing that we need to do is just save and publish it. But if you added some link here, then you can track your link from there. You can just enable those options. 
So here we just created our autoresponder and we published it successfully. So just yes and send it. And make sure also guys that you select the correct list. So I mentioned list earlier because here as you can see I have different list here and this is the list for this one. If I will be selecting other uh, list here for example this tutorial and let's apply. You can see that I have also a list for the tutorial. So let me just go ahead and close this one. So this is my email for the tutorial one. So let me go back to this one. And this is my email to this list. So here you can also change the status. You can turn it off and on. And also you can change the day here that you will send this email like for zero or one. And over here you will see the calendar so here we can just move this one uh, maybe you want to send this on the day two so after two days they sign up they can receive this email or if you like to since this is a welcome email you can send it on the zero so that after they sign up they can instantly receive the welcome email and then after one day or after two days you can create a different email again to send to them automatically so all you need to do is to create another autoresponder email and then just name it and then just select the correct list and then here you can put the day two so that after two days they will be receiving different email automatically from you so that's how you can create your email autoresponder and how you can use your autoresponder so i guess we are all set and I hope that you learned something today. And again, guys, if you want to sign up for free, just click the link in the description below. And also you can try all features for 30 days for free and no credit card needed. So thank you for watching.